All right, so the third part of my series, The Good, The Bad, and Ugly, or my number three vendor is going to be Rose Girls. Now this was hard, you're gonna see my number four and you're gonna understand why this was hard for me to pick number three. Um, but the final thing was, which one do I have more wax of? So Rose Girls won over that one other company. So let's go over details. Rose Girls is in Wisconsin, so shipping for me is generally pretty quick because I'm in Wisconsin as well. Mini Melters, for the cost of wax breakdown we talk about, is about $1.33. So pretty typical with, I want to say, I guess that's pretty standard based on my puppies are out outside my door playing, so you're just going to have to excuse it. My husband went to get me some food. So, um, I think it's pretty typical, a little costly on the end, but, um, turnaround time is quick. Even their like pre, pre-sales is, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm back. Sorry. I just, I can't listen to them sit and bark outside my door like that. It'll just drive me insane. Okay. Cause I have so much wax. Doesn't make sense for me to move everything. Okay. Like I said, turnaround time is good on everything. I haven't had any issues with that performance. I'm going to say I have a tough time with some of the bakery. I will, I worry because I've heard a lot of people say that over time they lose scent as well. So I'm really trying to keep an eye on what I order because I have a lot of wax and I don't want to be throwing my money away. As far as shipping, it's $8 standard unless you spend $100, then it is free. She does combine, but you have to email. So I've gotten mad once because I've emailed but it was too late, so then I had to pay $16 in shipping. I was kind of mad about so for me that was, if you want to talk about the ugly, I don't like that you have to email them because you do forget. Like a lot of the other vendors we've talked about, generally they do it automatically. So just be careful if you do that. Um, just be right away email so you don't forget, so things don't, you you know, you don't have to worry about paying shipping if you did spend over a hundred dollars, and generally I do, so when you're like told, oh, never mind, you can't. I, the other part that I don't like is that she's not really interactive on her page, in my opinion. I rarely see her comment when people post. Usually somebody answers the question for her. I know she's got a large group, but I don't know if she has a lot of admins or what. It'd be nice if that she had some more interaction with people on, whether it was her or admins um, on the page or even like Instagram and such. I just personally feel like she doesn't um, engage a whole lot. Again, this is my choice and my opinion. If you don't agree, that's okay. And again, I don't really want to hear any, like if you don't agree with me and you get me and I'm I'm just not going to listen to it because you have a right to your opinion and I have mine and it's okay to disagree. That's how the world is. We all have our own opinions. I just think that it is important to engage and to be interactive on your page because there are a lot of vendors and a lot of them are interactive. Um, some of those things have really turned me off to ordering. The other day she did a ready to ship at like 10 in the morning. It's like I'm at work now with school so I really can't just step away especially when I'm doing med training and there's no way I could so I missed everything that I wanted. She still had stuff when I was done with med training where I could step away at, at noon but all the scents I wanted were gone so I just was like it wasn't meant to be. I save money, right? Okay, so I have a lot of this vendor's wax and I do have quite a bit that I'm going to de-stash from her because, um, like I said, when I look at all my wax that I have, I just have too much sitting here. We're going to go through it. It's going to be messy. If you don't want to watch this part, don't. If you have anything good, bad, ugly to say to my series, please add it. Um, I love your input. If there's anything that you found, I do appreciate you guys watching, commenting, subscribing, and liking the video. I appreciate it. Um, this is just something I do for fun. Okay, let's go through this because my husband's going to be home with my food and I need to get off because he doesn't know, just so you know. My family doesn't know I do these videos. My kids kind of have an idea, but my family has no real idea, nor do they know anything about my channel. <laughs> so I'd like to keep it that way. This is something that I enjoy. And I just, it's for me. It's one thing for me as a mom of seven kids. This is just for me. Okay. Captain Crunch Berry Milkshake. I love this. I haven't warmed it yet. Cake by the Ocean. I love this. Raspberry Sauce is amazing. 
Zen. I love Zen. Zen is great to mix with any of those fruity ones. Shipwrecked. It's all right. Rain. I love rain. Let's see here. Satsuma. I love Satsuma. I'm just going to throw them on the floor. Waffle cone. I got this to make. Um, I couldn't find a waffle cone with other companies. Oatmeal cookies. Super strong and spicy. Frosted cranberry kettle corn donuts. I like this one. Not a favorite. Black cherry. Her black cherry blend is so... Oh, it's like raspberries and black cherry. This is phenomenal. Love it. Lemonade. Strong and yummy. Slurp. Love it. It's like a mixture of all the cereal blends. Mermaid hair. Love it. Gooey gooey caramel. Love that one. It's I use that for mixing. Cotton candy frosty smoothie. Yummy. Alice in Wonderland. I love the Alice in Wonderland ones. Cream cheese frosting. Hers is the best that I've tried. Oh, yummy. This one is poolside. Love it. Watermelon slush. Love it. Monster cookie. I like that one. I have two of cookie land. I like it, but again, not super strong for me on performance. Banana bread carbs. I like that one. Strawberry and lime fizzy pop. I love fizzy blends. Jumping on clouds, or jumping on green apple clouds. I like that one. It's all right. Sunset in July. It's all right. Lemon cotton candy ice cream cake. I love that. Caramel ap apple fluff puffs. I do like this one. It's not a favorite. It's all right. Carbs and cookie lands. Off the hook. One of the good ones. I like that one for my husband's bathroom. Jumping on clouds. I like that one. Oh, I like this. Super sweet Mario. I like that. I will tell you another downside is that I have noticed when I first started purchasing, the bags would be like 6.4 ounces because I've de-stashed them and then some of the bags are 6 ounces. When I used to buy last February, or I started buying in February, they were more on the 6.4 ounces. Now most of the bags I get are 6 ounces. I'm just saying that makes it a little bit pricier. Coastal Kale, I have three bags. Love this. This is my bin for de-stashing. I'm not going to de-stash it till it's cold because I don't want to deal with shipping issues. This is the fresh sampler. This is strawberry mocha cookies. It's too chocolatey for me. Just, yeah, it's a little chocolatey. Vibing. Cookie land because I have a lot of them. Pumpkin frosted cupcakes. Donut holes. Killy, killer strawberry margarita. Singing in the rain. She does have soft wax, as you can see. Salted caramel latte cookie land. Super Nova fizzy pops. Bubblegum cotton candy frosting smoothie. Root beer float. That's not my favorite root beer float blend I have. This one is paradise berry ice cream. I haven't used any of these. Cookie land. This is... Christmas Eve and Cookie Land, I, you'll see I have two more chunk bags of those. Pear, Monster Cookie, because I already have one of those. Love You, a Latte Loaf, Coastal Kale, or Coastal Clothes on a Line, because it smells just like Coastal Kale. Very delicious Fruit Salad, by the Campfire, because that's not my crackling one that I love. Pineapple and Pink Sugar. Jumping on green apple clouds because I have two of them. This is strawberry cookie land. I have a sample of ooey gooey caramel. Pink pear pleasure in a muffin. Honeydew starfruit lemonade. A Dutch apple cookie land. Alice and Kokomo. This is not my favorite Alice blend. Taste the rainbow. Lover, I did not like that. No shoes, no shirt, no problem. That's my de-stash bin. It goes back upstairs when I'm done. Okay. This is my chunk bags and then um, a few of my favorites. Speechless because I have... Where is it? 
I have the trunk bag and this one. Mm, crackling birch fluff puffs. I have another bag of this over there. I'll have to grab that and show you. And this was my um, random act of kindness. I have two grandma got run over by a chomp chain. I love it. I have two Mrs. Claus's nightgown. This is fabulous. Oh, it's Macintosh, Apple, Garland, and Soft Laundry. That is amazing. Peppermint. Christmas Eve and Cookie Land. I should have two of those. Jumping on Sweet Lemon Clouds. Carbs with Ghoul Friends. I have two of those. Opposite of Keto Jelly Donuts. And then Koopa Claus Needs a Latte. So these are my, my chunk ones. I love these. These are one of my favorite ways to get Let's go through my bedtime blends quick because I didn't pull them. You need to calm down. I love that one. I don't have many Rose Girls in here, I don't think. And then I have Alice in Slumberland, which I love. Okay, those are my bedtime blends. These are my chunk muffins. Making Bread and Cookie Land, Strawberry Cookie Land, Beach Bonfire, Strawberry Slurp, I have two of those. Beach Bonfire, I have two right now, I can see of these. Moo Moo Track, I love this banana, I have two of those. Dutch Apple Pecan French Toast, I have two. Circus Concession. I have five and no shame. <laughs> I love that one. Wake and bake in cookie land. I have two of those. Here's my circus concession because I love it. Blueberry vanilla sugar bread. Fireside cookies with cream cheese frosting. I have two of those. Um, Snickerdoodle butter pecan cookies. Sugar cookie, cream cheese, frosting, waffle, cone, monster cookie, sh royal sugar cookies. I have two of those, or three of those, sorry. I have one sweet pumpkin pie, cider lane, marshmallow smoothie. I have more of these. Ah, there's more. Um, peppermint, lavender, coconut milk. I have two of these. These are my favorites in here. The whole world. I have four of those. I have Don't Be Salty, Don't Kale, My Zen Vibe. I have, I have three, four. Oh, wait, no. I have two of Don't Kale, My Zen Vibe, Don't Be Salty. And then two of Don't Kale, Don't Kale, My Vibe. That's different than Zen Vibe. Christmas Morning Sex. Leap Year, I should have... Four leap year. Don't be salty. Kissing in the rain. Holy. Raspberry key lime clouds. Watermelon apple stiletto. Shark bite. Blue Hawaiian Gilligan's brew. I love that. And grape blonde moment. I have a sample in morning sex closing the line. And dad bod. And here is Raspberry Zen, Absolute Coffee, Espresso, cool, Coconut Surf, Coastal Kale, Sex on the Peach, I love this, Happy Hour Lemonade, this is the Olive Branch, this is Night Shift Chunk, and this is the Coffee Sampler, I have a few more. Okay, crackling birch fluff pups, which is my favorite. And then one, two, four conch shell. And then I think I have some more in my melting basket, and that's it. This is it. 
Peppermint Coconut Mallow. I love this at bedtime. This one is Strawberry Pound Cake. She does have a good strawberry pound cake. Crackling Birch Fluff Puffs. Another one of those. Strawberry Jam. And then, you guys, if she ever comes back with this, I want more of this. This is Caramel Cherry Coke Float. It's so dang good. I do have one more of these. Hang on. Green Apple Zen. You know I love Zen blends. And it's so good. I just love Zen. But this cherry or caramel cherry coke float. If you ever see this, someone tag me. If I have not said anything, I need more of this. This is the coolest. I love this scent so much. Okay. So yeah, that's a lot of wax. That's what I have for you. I appreciate you guys watching. I am going to get this video posted for you guys on Monday. I'm, I had a little bit of time tonight. And also, I can. And um, so I bought these lids because there's been a lid shortage. You know, the one that seals them. And I had two tonight that like beveled out. I've never had that happen. So I don't know if it's because it's not a good quality or if I did something wrong. But I was making sugar-free um, spaghetti sauce for my husband and I because we can't have sugar on this new um, healthy eating. So normally my um, spaghetti has sugar in it. Not much. It's only six tablespoons, but we can't have that. So I, I made he and I some. So I'm going to put them in the fridge. Obviously we'll use them, but I just, I've never had that happen. So because there's been such a shortage last year of canning, you guys, it was so rough. I, last year I did 70 quarts of spaghetti sauce for my family and I bet you we have like 10 left. So when you have a big family and that's all my kids will eat, we think I can find some lids because it was, I can't afford to have like every batch two out of nine do this. So... I just am hoping I can find some actually good lids at Walmart. Um, I got these on Amazon, but I still, like the reviews were good. So I don't know if I did something wrong. So I don't know if I should hot bath them again or what I should do. I guess I need to call my friend who cans. Or if you can, let me know because I I do spaghetti sauce. And really that's sometimes salsa, but I don't have a great salsa recipe. But next weekend I'm going to try to get all, I'm going to try to go for 80 quarts this year um just because I don't want to worry about running out so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you're liking the little series let me know if you are if it's I don't you know it's just something I do anyway I gotta get off before my husband gets home because like I said he doesn't know I don't I do this I have a ring light because of my other business so he has no idea what I'm doing so I'm gonna get off and go you guys have a great day have a great week and let's just pray for our country and our men and women serving and our um, military and for the people of Afghanistan. It's really been on my heart and I've cried a lot for what's going on. So just lift them, lift them up in prayer and just uh, your good vibes, whatever you need to send for them. So hopefully they can all make it home by the 31st. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of stress and trauma going on right now in this world. So I just... I just keep praying and praying and praying over our country and, and, and all of the people that work so hard to keep it safe. All right. You guys have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.